if you live in Seattle, you may have heard of serious pie. If you haven't, let this get your stomach <laughs> grumbling. A new survey recently placed the restaurant's downtown location as the 12th best pizza spot in the entire country. One of the best nationwide. That's seriously a good award. So here to talk with us is Tom Douglas, the owner of Serious Pie, taking a little break from chopping some wood there in central <laughs> Washington. Tom, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm on my uh, annual, my monthly two-day sojourn over to our farm. I love it. It's nice to have you with us this morning. So give us some backstory here. How did Serious Pie get started all those years ago? You know, we were a bread bakery at the time, and we, a space came up right next to us, and we thought, you know, we had first option on it and we didn't want to give it up. So we started to think about what we could put in there. And so my head baker, Gwen LeBlanc, uh, and I and, and the E.T., my partner, we started th talking about pizza because we make dough. You know, we have a bread baker's soul. And uh, we started playing around with it and just couldn't get it right. It took us three months to get the dough to where it is today. So we can proudly say in crust we trust. <laughs> and... Uh, Day in and day out of those three months, we just worked on perfecting the concept around pizza. And a couple of things always bothered me about uh, pizza that you get delivered to your house or when you go out for pizza. One is the cheese is always overcooked and broken. And so uh, one of our techniques is to put the cheese on at the very end and just kind of warm it so we don't overcook it. And you can see in that picture right there, the cheese is not separated into whey and oil, uh, which cheese wants to do when it gets overheated. And then uh, we also like big black boils on our crust. We love a little char. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's kind of, we just worked and worked and worked. Three months later, we had ourselves a pie we could be proud of. I mean, you just kind of talked about some of the specifics into each pie. It sounds like a lot of love goes into each one. You talk about the crust and you talk about the cheese. Uh, what else makes your pizza so special? And, and are, are you self-taught? <laughs> Did you just learn this on your uh, own? You know, you're never really self-taught. You kind of steal <laughs> things along the way as you cook through kitchens, uh, meet different immigrants, and you bring th that bring different cultures to your kitchen, and you steal this, you steal that, and pretty much you end up with your own identity. Uh, another thing that makes our pizza kind of unique is that we use uh, a beautiful olive oil to finish. And so once our pie comes out of the wood-fired oven, we run uh, this beautiful olive oil all the way around the crust, uh, great uh, sea salt. And then, you know, another thing that changes the dynamic of a pizza pie is that so often a pizza is put into the oven complete, right? Uh, you got the herbs, you got the cheese, blah, 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 and then you bake the whole thing. Not everything takes the same amount of time to cook. And so, for example, fresh herbs. We use tons of fresh herbs, beautiful marjoram on our sausage and pepper pie. It blooms with warmth. It dies with heat, so, uh, with over overcooking. And so we always herb our pizzas after they come out of the oven. So the residual heat of the pizza uh, actually makes the herbs bloom. And then we put it onto a cutting board that's been routed out so that the uh, we actually had thermal imaging done so that we release the steam from underneath the pizza so the crust doesn't get soggy. And uh, it is just a, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, my goodness. And I'm a big fan, Tom. I love Serious Pie. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So I can understand why they got this amazing accolade. Uh, you know, it's been four years since the uh, pandemic. We really saw the crux of the pandemic. We know that small businesses took a big hit during that time frame. How did Serious Pie rebound from that time period? And what are working conditions like now for you? Well, you know, uh, it was dramatic, drastic, horrible. Uh, everything you can imagine when you have to let a team of 860 people go. We were uh, that 860 strong on the 15th of March, 2020, and on the 16th of March we were nine people. Wow. And the nine that were left, we called the pilot light team. It's just in one person in each kind of category: one person in finance, IT, a chef, myself, uh, operations. And we called my friend down at Barbary and Ellington Restaurant Supply and got a pizza oven delivered to our dock out in Ballard. Because remember, the governor said no indoor dining. Mm -hmm. And we immediately started a quick little pizzeria with the nine of us uh, on the dock in Ballard Outdoors. And we have been kind of clawing our way back ever since. And I just have to say, you know, sometimes people give government a bad rap. But without the PPP funds that the government came out with, you wouldn't be looking at half the businesses that are alive today uh, still in business. And maybe more. So... Uh, as as I'd like to give credit where credit's due, uh, if it wasn't for that four years ago, 
uh, we would not be in the situation we're in. Mm. Glad to hear that things are recovered. And yeah, those small business loans and grants definitely made a difference. Yeah. All right, Tom, before we let you go, what is your favorite pizza topping? Well, my wife and I fight about this. Mine <laughs> is the sausage and pepper pie with marjoram and aged provolone cheese. And my wife, uh, you know, we get these beautiful clams right from Whidbey Island. She loves that clam pizza with uh, fresh Reggiano Parmesan over top, dried red chilies. Uh, and uh, it's just hot and delicious straight out of the oven. I love it. She's mm. on to something. She is. I, and I've, I've got to say, Tom, my favorite restaurant of yours is Lola. Steve and I, I actually went to brunch there. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, so great to have you Thank here. Thank you so much. It's very kind. <laughs> yes, um. Tom, you do such a great job with your restaurants. I'm big fan of big fan of your work and, and glad to have you here in the Seattle area. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate you. All right, go back to cutting wood now. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy over oh, there. Yeah. What a cool accolade. I mean, he was 